the ISO 9001-2015 revision E published on 2015 by Switzerland content, scope, narrative reference, terms, and definition, clause for context of the organization covered by 4.1, understanding the organization and its context, 4.2, understanding the needs and expectations of interested parties, 4.3, Determining the scope of the quality management system. 4.4 Quality management system and its process. The 4.3 Determining the scope of the quality management system. Clause 4.4 Quality management system and its processes. Paragraph 5 Leadership. Clause 5.1 Leadership and commitment. Covered by 5.1.1 General, 5.1.2 Customer Focus, 5.2 Quality, Clause 5.2.1 Establishing the Quality Policy, Clause 5.2 Communicating the Quality Policy, 5.3 Organizational Rules and Responsibilities and Authorities. Paragraph, pa paragraph 6 Planning. Covered by 6.1, action to address risk and opportunities. 6.2, quality objectives and planning to achieve them. 6.3, planning of changes. Paragraph 7, supports. 7.1, resources. 7.1.1, general. 7.1.2, people. 7.1.3, infrastructure. 7.1.4, environmental of the operational of processes. 7.1.5 Monitoring and Measuring Resources 7.1.6 Organizational Knowledge 7.2 Competence 7.3 Awareness 7.4 Communication 7.5 Documented Information 7.5.1 General 7.5.2 Creating and Updating 7.5.3 Control of Documented Information Paragraph 8, Operation, Clause 8.1, Operational Planning and Control, 8.2, Requirements for Product and Services, 8.2.1, Customer Communication, 8.2.2, Determining the Requirements for Product and Services, 8.2.3, Review of the Requirements for Product and Services, 8.2.4, Changes to Requirements for Product and Services, 8.3 Design and Development of Product and Services 8.3.1 General 8.3.2 Design and Development Planning 8.3.3 Design and Development Input 8.3.4 Design and Development Control 8.3.5 Design and Development Output 8.3.6 Design and Development Changes 8.4, Control of Externally Provided Processes, Product and Services. 8.4.1, General. 8.4.2, Types and Context of Control. 8.4.3, Informations of External Providers. 8.5, Productions and Service Provision. 8.5.1, Control of Productions and Service Provision. 8.5.2, Identification and Traceability. 8.5.3 Property belongings to customer or external providers. 8.5.4 Preservation. 8.5.5 Post delivery activities. 8.5.6 Control of changes. 8.6 Release of product and services. 8.7 Control of non conforming output. Paragraph 9 Conformance evaluation. Clause 9.1 Monitoring. Measurement, Analysis, and Evaluation Covered by 9.1.1 General 9.2.2 9.1.2 Customer Satisfaction 9.1.3 Analysis and Evaluation 9.2 Internal Audit 9.3 Management Review 9.3.1 General 9.3.2 Management Review Input 9.3.3 Management Review Output Clause, paragraph 10, improvement. 
10.1 general, 10.2 non-conformity and corrective action, 10.3 continual improvement, Annex A, informative clarifications of new structure, terminology and concept, Annex B, informative other international standard on quality management and quality management system developed by ISO TC176, Bibliography. Forward ISO, the International Organization for Standardization, is a worldwide federation of national standard bodies, ISO member bodies. The work of preparing international standard is normally carried out through ISO Technical Committee. Each member body interested in the subject for what is the Technical Committee has been established, has the right to be represented on the committee. International organization, governmental and non-governmental in liaison with ISO also take part of the work. ISO collaborates closely with the International Electrotechnical Commission, IEC, on all matters of electrotechnical standardization. The procedure used to develop this document and those intended for its further maintenance are described in ISO IEC Directive Part 1. In particular, the difference approval criteria needed for the different types of ISO documented shall be noted. This document was drafted in accordance with the editorial rules of ISO IEC Directive Part 2. Attention is drawn to the possibility that some of the elements of this document may be subject for the patient right. ISO shall not held responsible for identifying any, all the such patient right details of any patient right identified during the development of the document will be in the introductions and on ISO list of patient declaration received. Any trade name used in this document is information given by the convenience of users and thus does not constitute an endorsement. For an explanation of the meaning of ISO sir, specified terms and expression related to conformity assessment, as well as the information about ISO adherence to the World Trade Organization principles in the technical barriers to trade, see the following. The committee responsible for this document is Technical Committee ISO TC 176, Quality Management and Quality Assurance Subcommittee Section 2, Quality System. The fifth edition council that replaced the fourth editions of 9001-2008, which has been technically revised through the adoptions of a revised clause sequence and the adaptations of the revised quality management principles and of a new concept, and it's cancelled the replace the technical corrigendum of ISO 2008. Introduction The adoptions of the quality management system is a strategic decision an organization that helps to improve its overall performance and provide a sound basis for sustainable development initiative. The potential benefits of an organization of implementing the quality management system based on this international standard are <coughs> A. The ability to consistently provide product and services that meet customer and applicable statutory and regulatory requirements. B. Facilitating opportunities to enhance customer satisfaction. C. Addressing risk and opportunities associated with its context and objectives. D. The ability to demonstrate conformity to specified quality management system requirements. This international standard can be used by internal and external parties. It is not the intent of this international standard to imply the need for uniformity in the structures of different quality management system, alignment of document to the clause structure of this international, uh, international standard, the use of the specific terminology of this international standard within the organization. The quality management system requirements specified by this standard, international standard are Complementary to requirements for the product and services. The international standard employs the process approach, which incorporates the plan, do, check, act, cycle, PDCA, and risk based thinking. The process approach enables an organization to plan its processes and their interactions. The PDCA cycle enables an organization to ensure that its processes are adequately resourced and managed and that opportunities for improvement are determined and 
acted on. Race-based thinking enables an organization to determine the factors that could cause its processes and its quality management system to deviate from the plan result to put in place preventive control to minimize negative effect and to make maximum use of opportunities as they arise, consistently meeting requirements and addressing future needs and expectations poses a challenge for organization in an increasingly dynamic and complex environment to achieve its objective. The organization might find it's necessary to adapt various forms of improvement. In addition to corrections and continual improvement such as breakthrough chains, innovation and reorganization. In this international standard, the following verbal forms are used. Shall indicates a requirement. Should indicates a recommendation. May indicates a permission. Can indicates a possibility or a capability. Information marks as note is a guidance in understanding or clarifying the associated requirements. Number two, quality management principles. This international standard is based on the quality management principles described in ISO 9000. The description includes a statement of its principles are rational of why the principle is important for the organization, some examples of the benefits associated with the principles, and examples of typical actions to improve the organization performance when applying the principles. The quality management principles are customer focus, leadership, engagement of people, process approach, improvement, evidence-based decision-making, relationship management. Number three, process approach. 3.1 general. This international standard promotes the adoptions of the process approach when developing, implementing, and improving the effectiveness of a quality management system to enhance customer satisfaction by meeting customer requirements. The specific requirements considered essential to the adoptions of the process approach are included in Clause 4.4, Understanding and Managing Interrelated, interrelated Process as a System Contributes to the Organization Effectiveness and Efficiency in Achieving its Intended Result. This approach enables the organization to control the interrelationship, interrelationship, and interdependencies among the processes of the system so that the overall performance of the organization can be enhanced. The process approach involves the systematic definition and management of the processes. And their interaction so as to achieve the intended result in accordance with the quality policy and strategic directions of the organization management of the processes and the system as a whole can be achieved using the PDCA cycle C0.3.2 with the overall focus on risk-based thinking C0.3.3 aim to talk advantage of opportunities and preventing desirable results. The applications of the process approach a quality management system enables a. Understanding and consistency in meeting requirements. B. The considerations of processes in terms of added value. C. The achievement of effectiveness process performance. D. Improvement of processes based on evaluation of data and information. Figure 1 gives a schematic representation of any process and show the interactions of its elements. The monitoring and measuring checkpoints which are necessary for control are specific to each processes and will vary depending on the related risk. Source input, activities output, receiver of output. Schematic representations of the element of a single processes. 0.3.2 Plan, do, check, act cycle. The PDCA cycle can be applied to all processes 
and to the quality management system as a whole figure point two illustrates how class clauses four to ten can be grouped in relation to pdca cycle the quality management system the plan support operation do performance evaluation check improvement act as a planning that is a leadership organization and its context customer requirements need and expectations of relevant interested parties customer satisfaction product and services result of qms number in break brackets refer to the class of its international standard a figure to representations of the structure of its international standards in pdca cycle the PDCA cycle can be briefly described as follow. Plan, establish the objective of the system and its processes. And the resources needed to deliver result in accordance with the customer requirements and the organization policies and identify and address the rest and opportunities. Do, implement what was planned. Check, monitor, and where applicable, make sure processes and the resulting product and services against policies, objectives, requirements, and plan activities, and reports the result. Act, take action to improve performance as necessary. 0.3.3 race based thinking. Race based thinking, take class A4. It's essential for achieving an effective quality management system the concept of base, rest-based thinking has been implicit in previous edition and this international standard including the example of carrying out preventive action to eliminate potential non-conformities, analyzing any non-conformities that do occur and taking action to prevent reoccurrence that is appropriate for the effect of the non-conformity. To confirm to the requirements of this international standard, an organization need to plan and implement action to address risk and opportunities. Addressing both risk and opportunities establish a basis for increasing the effectiveness of the quality management system, achieving improvement result and preventing negatively effect. Opportunities can arise as a result of a situation favorable to achieving an intended result for example, a set of circumstances that allows the organization to attract customer, develop new product and services, reduce waste, or improve productivity action to address opportunities can also include considerations of associated risk. Risk is the effect of uncertainty and any such uncertainty can have positive or negative effect. A positive deviation arising from the rest can provide an opportunity, but not all positive effect of risk result in opportunities. 0 0.4 Relationship of other management system is standard. This international standard applies the framework developed by ISO to improve alignment among its international standard for management system, see clause 8.1. This international standard enables an organization to use the process approach coupled with the PDCA cycle and risk-based thinking to align or integrate its quality management system with the requirements of other management system standard. This international standard relates to ISO 9000 and ISO 9004 as follows. ISO 9000 Quality Management System Fundamental and Vocabulary provides essential background for the proper understanding and implementation of its international standard. ISO 9004 Managing for the Sustained Success of an Organization A Quality Management Approach provides guidance for the organization that choose to progress beyond the requirements of this international standard. Annex B provide details of other international standard on quality management and quality management system that had been developed by SOTC 176. This international standard does not include requirements specific to other management system 
such as those this environmental management occupational health and safety management or financial management sector a specific quality management system is standard based on the requirements of this international standard had been developed for a number of sectors. Some of these standards specify additional quality management system requirements, while others are limited to providing guidance to the applications of this international standard within the particular sector. A matrix showing the correlation between the clauses of this edition of this international standard and the previous edition ISO 9001 2008 can be found on ISO TC 176 Section 2 open access website at www.iso.org slash tc176 slash ac02 slash public. In quality management system requirements, scope. One, scope this international standard specifies requirements for the quality management system with an organization. A need to demonstrate A, a need to demonstrate its ability to consistently provide product and services that meets customer and applicable statutory and regulatory requirements. And B, aim to enhance customer satisfaction through the effective application of the system, including processes for improvement of the system and the assurance of conformity to consider the applicable statutory and regulatory requirements. All the requirements of this standard international standard are generic and re-intended to be applicable to any organization regardless of its type or size or the product and services it provides. In the international standard, the term product or service only apply to the product and services intended for or required by the customer. Note 2 is the is, is statute, is statutory and regulatory requirements can be expressed as legal requirements. 2. Narrative refer references. The following documents in whole or in parts of normatively reference in these documents are indispensable for its application. For dated reference, only the edition cited applies. For undated reference, the latest editions of the reference documented including any amendments applies. ISO 9000-2015 Quality Management System, Fundamentals and Vocabulary. 3. Paragraph 3 Terms and Definition For the purpose of this document, the terms and definitions is given in ISO 9000-2015 apply. Paragraph 4 Context of the Organization Clause 4.1 Understanding the organization and its context. The organization shall determine external and internal issues that are relevant to its purpose and its strategic direction and that affect its ability to achieve the intended result of its quality management system. The organization shall monitor and review information about this external and internal issue. Note 1 issue can include positive and negative factor. Or conditions for considerations. Note 2. Understanding the external context can be facilitated by considering issues arising from legal, technological, competitive, market, cultural, social, and economic environment, whether international, national, regional, or local. Note 3. Understanding the inter internal context can be facilitated by considering issues related to the values, culture, knowledge, and performance of the organization. Clause 4.2 Understanding the needs and expectations of interested parties. Due to, the, due to their effect or potential effect of the organization ability to consistently provide the product and services that meet customer and application is that is statutory and regulatory requirements. The organization shall determine a. The interested parties that are relevant to the quality management system. B. The requirements of these interested parties that are relevant to the quality management system. The organization shall monitor and review information about these interested parties 
and their relevant requirements. Clause 4.3, determining the scope of the quality management system. The organizational, the organization shall determine the boundaries and applicability of the quality management system to establish its scope. When determining this scope, the organization shall consider A, the external and internal issue referred to Clause 4.1. B, the, the requirements of relevant interested parties referred to Clause 4.2. C, the product and services of the organization. The organization shall apply all the requirements of this international standard if they are applicable within the determined scope of its quality management system. The scope of the organization quality management system shall be available to be maintained as documented information. The scope shall state the type of product and services covered and provide justification for any requirements of it this international standard that the organization determines it's not applicable to the scope of its quality management system. Conformity to this international standard may only be claimed if the requirements determined as not being applicable do not affect the organization ability or responsibility to ensure the conformity of its product and services and the enhancement of customer satisfaction. Clause 4.4, Quality Management System and its Processes. 4.4.1, the organization shall establish, implement, maintain, and continually improve a quality management system, including the processes needed and their interactions in accordance with the requirements of its international standard. The organization shall determine the processes needed for the quality management system and their application throughout the organization and shall a determine the input required and the output expected from the processes b determine the sequence and interactions of these processes c determine and apply the criteria and method including monitoring measurement and related performance indicator needed to ensure the effective operations and control of these processes D. Determine the resources needed for these processes and ensure their availability. A. Assign the responsibilities and authorities for these processes. F. Address the risk and opportunities as determined in accordance with the requirements of Clause 6.1. G. Evaluate these processes and implement any changes needed to ensure that these processes achieve the intended result. H. Improve the processes and the quality management system. 4.4.2 To extent necessary, the organization shall A. Maintain documented information to support the operations of its processes. B. Retain documented information to have confidence that the processes are being carried out as plan. Paragraph 5 Leadership Clause 5.1 Leadership and Commitment 5.1.1 General Top management shall demonstrate leadership and commitment with respect to the quality management system by A. Taking accountability for the effectiveness of the quality management system B. Ensuring that the quality policy and quality objectives are established for the quality management system and are compatible with the context and strategic directions of the organization. C. Ensuring the integrations of the quality management system requirements into the organization business processes. D. Promoting the use of the process approach and risk-based thinking. A. Ensuring that the resources needed for the quality management system are available. F. Communicating the importance of effective quality management system and of conforming to the quality management system requirements. G. Ensuring that the quality management system achieve its intended result. H. Engaging, directing, and supporting persons to contribute to the effectiveness of the quality management system. I. Promoting improvement. G. 
supporting other relevant management rules and demonstrate their leadership as it's applied to their areas of responsibility. Note reference to business in this international standard can be inter interpreted broadly to mean those activities that are core to the purpose of the organization's existence, whether the organization is public, private, or profit, or none, not for profit. Clause 5.1.2 Customer Focus Top management shall demonstrate leadership and commitment with respect to customer focus by ensuring that a customer and applicable stationary and regulatory requirements are determined, understood, and consistently met. B. The risk and opportunities that can be affect conformity of product and services and the ability to enhance customer satisfactions are determined and addressed. C. The focus on enhancing customer satisfaction is maintained. 5.2 Policy 5.2.1 Establishing the Quality Policy Top management shall establish, implement, and maintain quality policy that A. Is appropriate to the purpose and context of the organization and support its strategic direction. B. Provides a framework for setting quality objectives. C. Includes a commitment to satisfy applicable requirements. D. Include commitment to continual improvements of the quality management system. 5.2.2 Communicating the quality policy. The quality policy shall A. Be available and be maintained as documented information. B. Communicated, understood, and applied within the organization. C. Be available to relevant interested parties as appropriate. Clause 5.3 Organizational Rules, Responsibilities, and Authorities Top management shall ensure that the responsibilities and authorities for relevant rules are assigned, communicated, and understood within the organization. Top management shall assign the responsibility and authority for A. Ensuring that the quality management system conforms to the requirements of this international standard. B. Ensuring that the processes are delivering their intended output. C. Reporting on the performance of the quality management system and on opportunities for improvement. See Section 10.1. In particular, top, top management. D. Ensuring the promotions of customer focus throughout the organization. A. Ensuring that the integrity of the quality management system is maintained when changes to the quality management system are planned and implemented. Clause 6. Planning 6.1. Action to address risk and opportunities. This is planning. 6.1.1. When planning for the quality management system, the organization shall consider the issues referred to Clause 4.1 and the requirements referred to for Clause 4.2 and determine the risk and opportunities that needed to be addressed to A. Give assurance that the quality management system can achieve its intended result. B. Enhance desirable effect. C. Prevent or reduce undesired effect. D. Achieve improvement. 6.1.2, the organization shall, this is planning, parts of organization. A, action to address these risks and opportunities. B, how to, how to integrate and implement the action into the, its quality management system processes. C, clause 4.4. Number two, how to evaluate the effectiveness of this action. Action taken to address risks and opportunities shall be proportionate to the potential impact on the conformity of the product and services. Note 1. Option 1. To address risk can include avoiding risk, taking risk, in order to pursue an opportunity, eliminating the risk source, changing the likelihood or consequences, sharing the risk, or retaining risk by informed decision. Note 2. Opportunities can lead to the adoptions of new practices, launching new products, Opening new market, addressing new customer, building partnership, using new technology, and other desirable and viable possibilities 
to address the organization or its customer need. 6.2 Quality Objectives and Planning to Achieve Them 6.2.1 The organization shall establish quality objectives and relevant function, level, and processes needed for the quality management system. The quality objectives shall A. Consistent with the quality policy B. Be measurable C. Take into account applicable requirements D. Be relevant to conformity of product and services and to enhance of customer satisfaction. A. Be monitored. F. Be communicated. G. Be updated as appropriate. The organization shall maintain documented information on the quality objective. 6.2.2 When planning how to achieve its quality objectives, the organization shall determine A what will be done b what resources will be required c who will be responsible d when it will be completed a how the result will be evaluated <clears throat> clause 6.3 planning of changes when the organization determines the need of changes to the quality management system the changes shall be carried out in the plan manner, say clause 4.4, the organization shall consider a. the purpose of the changes and their potential consequences, b. the integrity of the quality management system, c. the availability of resources, d. the allocations or reallocations of responsibilities and authorities. Clause 7, support. This is a support. 7.1 resources. 7.1.1 general. The organization shall determine and approve the resources needed for the establishment, implementation, maintenance, and continual improvement of the quality management system. The organization shall consider a. The capabilities of and constraint on existing internal resources b. What needs to be obtained from external provider. Clause 7.1.2 People The organization shall determine and provide the person necessary for the effective implementation of its quality management system and for the operation and control of its processes. 7.1.3 Infrastructure The organization shall determine provide and maintain the infrastructure necessary for the operation or its processes and to achieve conformity of product and services. Note, infrastructure can include A. Building and associated utilities B. Equipment including hardware and software C. Transportation resources D. Information and communication technology 7.1.4 Environment for the operation processes. The organization shall determine, provide, and maintain the environment necessary for the operation of its processes and to achieve conformity of product and services. A suitable environment can be combinations of human and physical factors such as a social example, non-discriminatory, calm, non-confrontational, confrontational b physiological psychological example is stress reducing burnout prevention emotionally protected c physical example temperature heat humidity light airflow hygiene noise this factor can differ sustain substantially depending on the product and services provided 7.1.5 Monitoring and Measuring Resources 7.1.5.1 General The organization shall determine and provide the resources needed to ensure valid and reliable results when monitoring and measuring is used to verify the, non -con the conformity of product and services to its requirements. The organization shall ensure that the resources provided a are suitable for the specific types of monitoring 
at measurement activities being undertaken. B. Are maintained to ensure their continuing fitness for their purposes. The organization shall retain appropriate document information as evidence of fitness for purpose of the monitoring and measurement resources. 7.1.5.2 Measurement Traceability When measurement traceability is requirements, it is considered by the organization to be an essential part of the providing, providing confidence in the validity of measurement result monitoring equipment shall be A. Calibrated or verified or both at a specified interval or prior to use against measurement standard traceable to international or national measurement standard when no such standard exists the basis used for calibration or verification shall be retained as documented information. B. Identified in order to determine their status. C. Safeguarded from adjustment, damage, or deterioration that would invalidate the calibration status and subsequent measurement result the organization shall determine if the validity of previous measurement result has been adversely affected when measuring equipment is found to be unfit for its intended purpose and shall take appropriate necessary action as necessary. 7.1.6 Organizational Knowledge The organization shall determine the knowledge necessary for the operation of its processes and to achieve conformity of product and services. This knowledge shall be maintained and be made available to the extent necessarily. When addressing changes, needs, and trend, the organization shall consider its current knowledge and determine how to acquire or access any necessary additional knowledge and required updates. Note 1. Organization. Organizational knowledge is Knowledge is specified to the organization. It is generally gained by the experience. It is information that is used and shared to achieve the organization objectives. Organizational knowledge can be based on a internal sources, example, intellectual property, knowledge gained from experience, lesson learned from failure and successful project, capturing and sharing undocumented knowledge and experience the result of improvement in processes, product, and services. B. External sources. Example is standard, academia, conferences, gathering knowledge from customer or external provider. 7.2. Competence. The organization shall A. Determine the necessary competence of person doing work under its control that effect the performance and effectiveness of the quality management system. B. Ensure that these persons are competent on the basis of the appropriate education, training, or experience. C. Where applicable, take action to acquire the necessary competence and evaluate the effectiveness of the action taken. D. Retain appropriate documented information as evidence of competence. Note, applicable action can include, for example, the provisions of training to the monitoring of or the reassignment of currently employed person or the hiring or contracting of competent person. 7.3. Awareness The organization shall ensure that person doing work under the organization control are aware of a quality policy. B. Relevant quality objectives. C. Their contribution to the effectiveness of the quality management system, including the benefits of the improved performance. D. The implications of not confirming with the quality management system requirements. 7.4. Communication. The organization shall determine the internal and external communication relevant to the quality management system, including A. On what 
it will be communicate, B, when to communicate, C, with whom to communicate, D, how to communicate, A, who communicate. 7.5, documented information. 7.5.1, general. The organization's quality management system shall include A, documented information required by this international standard, B, documented information determined by the organization as being necessary for the effectiveness of the quality management system. The extent of the documented information for the quality management system can differ from one organization to other due to the size of the organization and its type of activities, processes, product, and services. The complexity of processes under interaction, the competence of person. 7.5.2 Creating and Updating When creating and updating documented information, the organization shall ensure appropriate A. Identification and description, example title, date, author, or reference number B. Format, example language, software, version, graphics, and media, example paper, electronic C. Review and approval of suitability and adequacy. 7.5.3 Control of Documented Information 7.5.3.1 Documented information required by the quality management system and by this international standard shall be controlled to ensure it is available and suitable for use where and when it is needed. It is adequately adequately protected example from loss of confidentiality, proper, improper use, or loss of integrity. For the control of documented information, the organization shall address the following activities as applicable. This is clause 7.5.3.2. A. Distribution access, retrieval, and use. B. Storage and preservation, including preservations of legibility, C. Control of changes. Example, version control. D. Retention and disposition. Documented information of external origin determines by the organization to be necessary for the planning and operations of the quality management system shall be identified as appropriate and be controlled. Documented information retained as evidence of conformity shall be protected from unintended alterations. Note, access can imply a decision regarding the permissions to view a documented information only or the permissions and authority to view and change the documented information. Operations Paragraph 8 Operation 8.1 Operational Planning and Control This is 8.1 the organization shall plan, implement, and control the processes. See Clause 4.4. Needed to meet the requirements for the provisions of product and services and to implement the actions determined in Clause 6 by A. Determining the requirements for the product and services. B. Establishing criteria for A. The, per the processes. 2. The acceptance of the product and services. C. Determining the resources needed to achieve conformity to the product and services requirements. D. Implementing control of the processes in accordance with the criteria. D. Determining, maintaining, and retaining documented information to the extent necessarily. 1. To achieve, to have confidence that the processes has been carried out as planned. Two, to demonstrate the conformity of product and services to the requirements. The output of this planning shall be suitable for the organization operation. The organization shall control, plan, changes, and review the consequences of unintended changes, taking action to mitigate any adverse effect as necessarily. The organization shall ensure that Outsource processes are controlled, say section 8.4. 8.2. Requirements 
for product and services. This is 8.2. 8.2.1, customer communication. Communication with the customer shall include A, providing information relating to product and services. B, handling requires inquiries, contracts, or order, including changes. C. Obtaining customer feedback relating to the product and services, including customer compliance. D. Handling or controlling customer property. A. Establishing specific requirements for contingency action when relevant. 8.2.2. Determining the requirements for product and services. When determining the requirements for the product and services to be offered, the customer, the organization shall ensure that A, the requirements for the product and services are defined, including one, any applicable of is, is statutory and regulatory requirements to those considered necessary by the organization. B, the organization can meet the claims for the product and services it offers. 8.2.3, review of the requirements for product and services. 8.2.3.1, the organization shall ensure that it has the ability to meet the requirements for product and services to be offered to customers. The organization shall conduct a review before committing to supply product and services to a customer to include A, requirements specified by the customer, including the requirements for delivery and post-delivery activities. B, requirements not stated by the customer but necessary for the specified or intended use we known. C. Requirements specified by the organization. D. Is, is statutory and regulatory requirements applicable to the product and services. Contract or order requirements differing from those previously expressed. The organization shall ensure that contract or order requirements differing from these previously defined are resolved. The customer requirements shall be confirmed by the organization before acceptance when the customer does not provide a documented statement of the requirements. Note, in some situations such as internet sales or formal review is practical for each order. Instead, the review can cover relevant product information such as catalog. 8.2.3.2, the organization shall retain documented information as applicable. A. On the result of the review. B. On any requirements for the product and services. 8.2.4. Changes to requirements for product and services. The organization shall ensure that relevant documented information is amended and that relevant person are made aware of the change requirements when the requirements for product and services are changed. Paragraph 8.3, Design and Development of Product and Services. 8.3.1, General, the organization shall establish, implement, and maintain a design and development processes that is appropriate to ensure the subsequent provisions of product and services. 8.3.2, Design and Development Planning. In determining stages and controls for design and development, the organization shall consider A. The nature, durations, and complexity of the design and development activities. B. The required processes stage, including application, design, and development review. D. Required design and development verification and validation activities. D. The responsibilities and authorities involved in the design and development process a in the ex the internal and external resources needed for the design and development of product and services f the need of control interface between person involved in the design and the development process g the need of involvement of customer and use of the design and development process h the requirements for subsequent provisions of product and services I, the level of control expected for the design and development process by customer and other relevant interested parties. G, G, the documented information needed to demonstrate that design and development requirements have been met. 
Clause 8.3.3 Design and Development Input The organization shall determine the requirements essential for the specific type of product and services to, the, to be designed and developed. The organization shall consider a functional and performance requirements. B. Information derived from the previous similar design and develop, development activities. C. Statutory and regulatory requirements. D. Standard or codes of practice that the organization shall committed to implement. A. Potential consequences of failure due to the nature of the product and services. Input shall be adequately for design and development purposes. Complete and unambiguous conflicting design and development input shall be resolved. The organization shall retain document information on design and development input. 8.3.4 Design and Development Control the organization shall apply control and design and development process to ensure that A. The result to be achieved are defined. B. Review are connected to evaluate the ability of the result of design and development to meet requirements. C. Verification activities are conducted to ensure that the design and development output meet the input requirements. D. Validation activities are conducted to ensure that the resulting product and services meet the requirements for the specified applications or intended use. A. Any necessary action are taken on problem determined during the review or verification and validation activities. F. Documented information for these activities is retained. Note. Design and development review, verification and validation have distinct purposes. They can be conducted separately or in any combination as a suitable for the product and services of the organization. 8.3.5 Design and Development Output The organization shall ensure that design and development output A. Meet the input requirements B. Are adequate for the subsequent processes for the provision of the product and services C. Include or reference monitoring and measuring requirements as appropriate and acceptance criteria D. Specify the characteristic of the product and services that are essential for their intended purpose under safe and proper provision. The organization shall retain document information on design and development output. Clause 8.3.6 Design and Development Changes The organization shall identify, review, and control changes made during the subsequent to the design and development of product and services to the extent necessary to ensure that there is no adverse impact on conformity to requirements. The organization shall retain documented information on A. Design and development changes B. The result of review C. Authorizations of changes D. Action taken to prevent adverse impact So this is a design and development changes on Chapter 8.3. Eight point four control of external provided processes, product and services. Eight point four general. Eight four point four one general. The organization shall ensure that externally provided process, product and services conform to the requirements. The organization shall determine the controls to be applied, processes, product and services. To externally provided processes, product and services, when a product and services from external provider are intended for incorporation into the organization's own product and services. B. Product and services are provided directly to the customers by external providers on behalf of the organization. C. A process or parts of a process is provided by an external provider as a result of a decision by the organization. The organization shall determine and apply criteria for the evaluation, selection, monitoring of performance and re-evaluation 
of external providers based on their ability to provide processes or products and services in accordance with the requirements. The organization shall retain documented information of these activities and any necessary action arising from the evaluation. 8.4.2 Type and Extent of Control The organization shall ensure that externally provided processes, products, and services do not adversely affect the organization's ability to consistently deliver conforming product and services to the, its customer. The organization shall a. ensure that externally provided processes remain within the control of its quality management system. b. Define both the control that it intended to apply to an externally provider and those it intend to apply to the resulting output. C. Take into a consideration 1. The potential impact of the externally provided processes, products, and services on the organization's ability to consistently meet customer and applicable st statutory and regulatory re requirements. Number 2. The effectiveness of the control applied by the external provider. D. Determine the verifications or other activities necessary to ensure that the externally provided processes, products, and services met requirements. 8.4.3 Information for external providers The organization shall ensure the adequacy of requirements prior to their communication to external providers. The organization shall communicate to external provider its requirements. 4a. The processes, product, and services to be provided. b. The approval of a product and services. b. Method of processes and requirements. Number 3. The release of product and services. c. Competence, including any required qualifications of persons. d. The external provider interactions with the organization. a. Control and monitoring of the external providers. Performance to be applied by the organization. F. Verifications or validations activities that the organizations or its customer intend to perform at the external provider premises. Paragraph 8.5 Productions and Service Provision. 8.5.1 Control of Production and Service Provision. The organization shall implement productions and service provision under controlled condition. Controlled conditions shall include as applicable A. The availability of documented information that defines 1. The characteristic of the product to be produced, the service to be provided, or the activities to be performed. Number 2. The result to be achieved. B. The availability and use of suitable monitoring and measuring resources. C. The implementations of monitoring and measurement activities. At appropriate stage to verify that the criteria of the control or processes or output and acceptance criteria for product and services have been met. D. The use of suitable infrastructure and development of the operation processes. A. The appointment of competent person including any required qualification. F. The validations and periodic revalidations of the ability to achieve plan result of the processes for productions and service provisions where the resulting output cannot be verified by subsequent monitoring or measurement. Number G. G. The implementations of actions to prevent human error. H. The implementations of release, delivery, and post-delivery activities. 8.5.2 Identification and traceability. The organization shall ensure suitable means to identify output when it is necessary to ensure the conformity of products and services. The organization shall identify the status of output with respect to monitoring and measurement requirements throughout productions and service provision. The organization shall control the, the unique identifications of the output when traceability is the requirements and shall retain the documented information necessary to enable traceability. 8.5.3 Property belongings to the customer or external provider. 
the organization shall exercise care with property belongings to the customer or external providers while it is under the organization's control or being used by the organization. The organization shall identify, verify, protect, and safeguard customer or external providers' property provided for use or incorporation into the product and services. When the property of the customer or external provider is lost, damaged, or otherwise found to be unsuitable for use, the organization shall report this to the customer or external provider and retain documented information on what has occurred. Note, a customer or external provider property can include materials, components, tools, and equipment, premises, intellectual property, and personal data. 8.5.4 Preservation The organization shall preserve the output during the productions and service provision to the extent necessary to ensure conformity to requirements. Note, preservation can include identification, handling, contamination, control, packing, storage, transmissions, or transportations, and protection. 8.5.5 Post-Delivery Activities The organization shall meet requirements for post-delivery activities associated with the product and services. In determining the extent of post-delivery activities that are required, the organization shall consider a. statutory and regulatory requirements b. the potential and desired consequences associated with its product and services c. the nature use and intended lifetime of its product and services. D. Customer requirements. E. Customer feedback. Note, post-delivery activities can include action under warranty provision, contractual obligations such as maintenance service and supplementary service such as recycle or final disposal. 8.5.6 Control of Changes The organization shall review and control changes for productions or service provision to the extent necessary to ensure continuing conformity with requirements. The organization shall retain documented information describing the result of the review of changes, the persons authorizing the change, and any necessary action arising from the review. 8.6 Release of Product and Services The organization shall implement plan arrangement at appropriate stage to verify that the product and services requirements has been met. The release of product and services to the customer shall not proceed until the plan arrangement has been satisfactorily completed unless otherwise approved by the relevant authority and as applicable by the customer. The organization shall retain documented information on the release of product and services. The documented information shall include a. Evidence of conformity with the acceptance criteria, b. Traceability to the persons authorizing the release. Paragraph 8.7 Control of Non-Conforming Output 8.7.1 The organization shall ensure that output that do not conform to the requirements are identified and controlled to prevent their unintended use or delivery. The organization shall take appropriate action based on the natures of the nonconformity and its effect on the conformity of products and services. This shall also apply to nonconforming products and services detected after delivery of products during or after provisions of services. The organization shall deal with nonconforming output in one or more of the following ways A. Correction B. Segregation Containment Return or suspensions of provisions of product and services. C. Informing the customer. D. Obtaining authorization for acceptance under concession. Conformity to the requirements shall be verified when non-conforming output are corrected. 8.7.2 The organization shall retain documented information that A. Describe the non-conformity. B. Describe the action taken. C. Describe any concessions obtained. D. Identifies the authority deciding the actions in respect of the non-conformity. Chapter 9, P. 
performance evaluation, 9.1 monitoring, measurement analysis and evaluation, 9.1.1 general. The organization shall determine A. What needs to be monitored and measured. B. The method of measurement Monitoring, measurement, analysis, and evaluation needed to ensure valid result. C. When the monitoring and measuring shall be performed. D. When the result for the monitoring and measurement shall be analyzed and evaluated. The organization shall evaluate the performance and the effectiveness of the quality management system. The organization shall retain appropriate documented information as evidence of the result. 9.1.2 Customer Satisfaction The organization shall monitor customer perceptions of the degree of which their needs and expectations has been fulfilled. The organization shall determine the method for obtaining, monitoring, and reviewing this information. Note, example for monitoring customer perceptions can include customer survey, customer feedback on delivery product and services, Meetings with customers, market shares analysis, complement, warranty claims, and dealer report. 9.1.3 Analysis and Evaluation The organization shall analyze and evaluate appropriate data and information arising from monitoring and measurement. The result of analysis shall be used to evaluate a conformity of products and services B. The degree of customer satisfaction. C. The performance and effectiveness of the quality management system. D. If planning has been implemented effectively. A. The effectiveness of action taken to address risk and opportunities. F. The performance of external providers. G. The need of improvement to the quality management system. Note, method to analyze data can include a statistical technique. Paragraph 9.2, Internal Audit. 9.2.1, the organization shall conduct internal audit at plan interval to provide information on whether the quality management system A. Conform to 1. The organization own requirements for its quality management system. Number 2. The requirements of its international standard. B. If is effectively implemented and maintained. 9.2.2, the organization shall A. Plan, establish, implement, and maintain an audit program including the frequency, methods, responsibilities, planning requirements, and reporting which shall take into consideration the importance of the processes concern, changes affecting the organization, and the result of the previous audit. B. Define the audit criteria and the scope of each audit. C. Select out auditor and conduct audit to ensure objectivity and impartiality of the audit process. D. Ensure that the results of the audit are reportedly to relevant management. A. Take appropriate action to correction, corrective action without undue delay. F. Retain documented information as evidence of the implementations of the audit program and the audit result. Note, CISO 19011 for guidance. 9.3 Management Review. 9.3.1 General. Top management shall review the organization's quality management system at plan intervals to ensure its continuing suitability, adequacy, effectiveness, and alignment with the strategic directions of the organization. Paragraph 9.3.2, Management Review Input The management review shall plan and carried out taking into consideration A. The status of action from previous management review B. Changes in external and internal issue that are relevant to the quality management system C. Information on the performance and effectiveness of the quality management system including trend in 1. Customer satisfactions and feedback from relevant interested parties. 2. The extent to which quality objectives has been met. 3. Process, performance, and conformity of product and services. Number 4. Non-conformities and corrective actions. Number 5. Monitoring and measurement result. 
Number six, audit result. Number seven, the performance of the external providers. D, the, 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 the adequacy of resources. A, the effectiveness of action taken to address risk and opportunities. C, section 6.1. F, opportunities for improvement. Paragraph 9.3.3, management review output. The output of the management review shall include decisions and action related to A. Opportunities for improvement B. Any needs for changes to the quality management system C. Resource needed The organization shall retain documented information as evidence for the result of management review Number 10. Improvement 10.1 General The organization shall determine and select opportunities for improvement and implement any necessary action to meet customer requirements and enhance customer satisfaction. This shall include a improvement, improving product and services to meet requirements as well as to address future needs and expectations. B. Correcting, preventing, or reducing undesired effect. C. Improving the performance and effectiveness of the quality management system. Note, examples of improvement can include corrections, corrective actions, continual improvement, breakthrough chains, innovations, and reorganization. Paragraph 10.2, non-conformity and correct, corrective actions. 10.2.1, when non-conformity occur, including any arising from compliance, the organization shall a. react to the non-conformity and as possible, 1. Take action to control and correct it. Number 2. Deal with the consequences. B. Evaluate the need of action to eliminate the causes of the nonconformity in order it, it does not recur or occur elsewhere by 1. Reviewing and analyzing the nonconformity. 2. Determining the causes of the nonconformity. Number 3. Determining if similar nonconformities exist or could potentially occur. C. Implement any action needed. D. Review the effectiveness of any correction, corrective action taken. A. Update risk and opportunities. Determine during the planning if necessary. F. Make changes to the quality management system if necessary. Corrective action shall be appropriate to the effect of non-conformities encountered. 10.2.1, the organization shall retain documented information as evidence of A, the nature of the nonconformities and any subsequent action taken, B, the result of any corrective action. 10.3, continual improvement. The organization shall continually improve the suitability, adequacy, and effectiveness of the quality management system. The organization shall consider the result of analysis and evaluation and the output of the management review to determine if there are needs or opportunities that shall be addressed as part of continual improvement. The ISO 9001-2015 Revision E, published on 2015 by Switzerland Content, Scope, Narrative Reference, Terms and Definition, Clause for Context of the Organization, covered by 4.1, Understanding the Organization and its Context, 4.2, Understanding the Needs and Expectations of Interested Parties, 4.3, Determining the scope of the quality management system. 4.4 Quality management system and its process. The 4.3 Determining the scope of the quality management system. Clause 4.4 Quality management system and its processes. Paragraph 5 Leadership. Clause 5.1 Leadership and commitment. Covered by 5.1.1 General, 5.1.2 Customer Focus, 5.2 Quality, 
Clause 5.2.1, Establishing the Quality Policy. Clause 5.2, Communicating the Quality Policy. 5.3, Organizational Rules and Responsibilities and Authorities. Paragraph, pa, paragraph 6, Planning. Covered by 6.1, Action to Address Risk and Opportunities. 6.2, Quality Objectives and Planning to Achieve Them. 6.3, Planning of Changes. Paragraph 7, Supports. 7.1, Resources. 7.1.1, General. 7.1.2, People. 7.1.3, Infrastructure. 7.1.4, Environmental of the Operational of Processes. 7.1.5, Monitoring and Measuring Resources. 7.1.6, Organizational Knowledge. 7.2, Competence. 7.3, Awareness. 7.4, Communication. 7.5, Documented Information. 7.5.1, General. 7.5.2, Creating and Updating. 7.5.3, Control of Documented Information. Paragraph 8, Operation. Clause 8.1, Operational Planning and Control. 8.2, Requirements for Product and Services. 8.2.1, Customer Communication. 8.2.2, Determining the Requirements for Product and Services. 8.2.3, Review of the Requirements for Product and Services. 8.2.4, Changes to Requirements for Product and Services. 8.3, Design and Development of Product and Services. 8.3.1, General. 8.3.2, Design and Development Planning. 8.3.3, Design and Development Input. 8.3.4, Design and Development Control. 8.3.5, Design and Development Output. 8.3.6, Design and Development Changes. 8.4, Control of Externally Provided Processes, Product and Services. 8.4.1 General, 8.4.2 Types and Context of Control, 8.4.3 Informations of External Providers, 8.5 Productions and Service Provision, 8.5.1 Control of Productions and Service Provision, 8.5.2 Identification and